Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy and Uu Temu. This is going to be a roundup of some uh, Temu gaming mice that I was sent. We have seven mice, some Game Mouse anti skid paste, what I was sent in place of a Darmo Shark mouse. So, yeah, this video is going to be kind of chaotic. I'm just going to get right into it. This is going to be the most honest sponsored product video you've ever seen because if this video doesn't get approved, I'm uploading it anyway. So, I was thinking, do I go from worst to best or best to worst? And I'm thinking it has to be worst to best. And first and foremost, at the forefront, is this G5 gaming mouse. And really, I just want to spend the least amount of time on this thing as I can. Generally, whenever a wire on a mouse is a rubber cable and it's not centered, you can just write off the mouse. But it has like this like transformer car kind of aesthetic going on. Like, what is this? It's not like a fan. It, it really does nothing. Um, the button quality seems terrible. I mean, like, look at these side buttons just go deep into the shell. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to lie. I didn't plug this mouse in, but I can guarantee you the sensor experience is going to be no good. At first, I thought they slapped the QC sticker just on top of the mouse gate. I was going to be like, that that's pretty gangster. Are there even skates? No, it's actually just plastic. I was, um, I was mistaken. Maybe there are skates in the box. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, this mouse is no good. So we can write off that one. I don't know if it's like $3, but it's not worth your money. And this was the box for um, anybody wondering about that. Next up is going to be a similarly disappointing mouse. This one is from Ajaz, the AJ52 Pro A3 mode mouse. And whenever the mouse's size on the box is just the actual size of the box, that's another telltale sign that's probably not going to be the best mouse. Additionally, this comes in at around 95 grams of weight. Honestly, I feel like it's over 100. I'm going to throw it on the scale. I spent like a minute trying to get the dongle out of the shell and I was failing. So it's just like, come on. Um, I mean, just kidding. This is Uu Temu, great mouse. Um, the quality is very mediocre. I mean, the clicks, they feel like Omron 20Ms. The right click has a preposterous amount of pre-travel. Overall, like you're not, don't expect greatness, but this shape and the weight really kill the mouse. This kind of has like Booga Mouse vibes. I wonder if it's like the same manufacturer. Like just look at that angle. What a fucking, what a shape. Um, but yeah, that's really all I gotta say. Ajaz actually does have another mouse in this video, one of the better ones, the AJ199 Pro that I got via Temu. Um, but yeah, this is just not on the level of that, but it is pink. Um, but it's also not worth your money. Ooh, ooh, Temu. Next up are going to be two mice from a company called HXSJ. Um, they're T66 and then the T800, I believe. And these mice feel like they were released in very different time periods. This is like the OG OEM Model O shape that we've seen many times throughout the years. I mean, this has some awesome RGB, um, which hopefully explains why the weight is a whopping 85 grams. I mean, that is that is absurdly heavy. This mouse just, it feels like a tank because I'm used to like the Model O size. You hear that truck outside, it's agreeing with me. It's like, why is this mouse so heavy? It also has an, ins like, wow, just a shocking amount of grinding on the main clicks. The truck is infuriated about that as well. And this is like, I don't know, I feel like their other mouse is much more akin to something like the Lamzu Atlantis. You see, it actually kind of has like an identical bottom to the Atlantis, but the sensor just doesn't feel spectacular. Like if this mouse had a 3395, because this one actually comes in at 55 grams or something, if it had a 3395 and not such like a low profile and like kind of bad scroll wheel, this would seriously be like something that I would consider like a top Chinese mouse because quality wise, um, like design wise, weight wise, it's actually fucking spectacular. Um, the older mouse, whatever this one is, is not. And I do like their logo. It's a, a lobster. It's a, it's a lobster doing lobster things. We don't see many of those logos. I mean, outside of like red lobster. So that's a pretty good one. Um, so like I said, skates quality, really everything with this one is solid. It doesn't have like a Lamzu Atlantis clone shape. You can see it's like not really high profile in the back, but since the shape is so long and kind of like center humped, you can still pull off a claw grip on it. It's like something like the wise owl cloud, but just not as like sharp angular as the sensei is. So I, I really do think that this one was a, a pretty interesting mouse. I tried to use it in game because I was like, okay, this one actually has potential, um, but the sensor did feel a little bit laggy, just not spot on. So, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, trust me, if you are looking for a mouse on Temu that there are many worse deals to be had. And this one also does have like some Razer McFly functionality because I mean, you can't really see the left side, but this mouse is fully in the air and it is tracking. So uh, the LOD set on this does appear to be insanely high. I did not bother um, with the softwares for these mice, but out 
out of the box, you get some real high LOD floating mouse tracking action. So that's going to cover the HXS J mice. Hadn't heard of them, but they might be an up and coming company um, if they figure out like just the sensor stuff. And even so, like this isn't an unusable mouse. Nothing's unusable. Ooh, ooh, Temu. Um, this one is from Dare You. This is a vertical mouse. I believe this is called the Bird. And yeah, it's just a ver vertical mouse. Like I can't really knock on it. This is not a product intended for gaming. The clicks on this probably feel about as good as they do on any mouse in this roundup. Um, they do have these extra side buttons up here. The mouse is unfortunately par powered by AA batteries. I don't know if that's unfortunate. But yeah, honestly, for the price of $5 that this is currently at, it's hard to knock. Um, as you can see, according to the box, it only goes up to 125 hertz polling rate. So like I said, it's not going to be a gaming mouse, but just treating this like the average, like, I don't know, I guess entry level vertical mouse, um, I can't really hate on it. So that's one of the more positive reviews from this roundup. And now we get to the really good stuff. But first off, I just want to try out the gaming mouse anti-skid paste. Like, is this, is this grip tape? Is it, I mean, yeah, it's anti-skid paste. That can't be like mouse skates you see i'm struggling with it because they don't have the highest quality like pull off tab okay maybe they did i just had to go the other way and then it's like the big moment what's this gonna be oh it's just uh just gpx grips okay and my game mouse has successfully been outfitted with anti-skid tape and i gotta say this is high quality like it feels like btl grips just like very solid rubberized grip tape it is um pretty thin and i don't know what this cost like a half penny on temu um that is definitely certified uu temu and i will be leaving this on my gpx for some time to come i don't know if it's like a flower like a little star but there is um some nice texture to these grips and yeah pretty fire Okay, the last mice in this Temu roundup are going to be ones that I've actually covered on my channel already, the Attack Shark X3 and the Ajaz AJ199 Pro. And both of these are by far the best when it just comes to the overall package, performance, quality, weight, like all of that stuff compared to the other mice in this video. And probably the only ones that I would recommend for anybody casually or seriously gaming. And yeah, these mice kind of complement each other. If you do have smaller hands, you want a smaller shape, more geared towards like fingertips, small handed claw grip. The Attack Shark X3 is probably going to be your go-to choice. And the AJ199 is just like this very like large, basic, safe shape. It's not exactly like a GPX clone but it does feel like it's a similar size in hand it has very flat sides and it does come in at 60 grams I believe while the Attack Shark X3 is 53 both mice come equipped with 3395s I believe the AJ199 is 4k compatible but the X3 is limited to a 1000 hertz polling rate so yeah these were the top two mice that I found on Temu um pretty much without a doubt when you type in gaming mouse you see you see a sea of um, just options, let's call them those. And there are a few diamonds in the rough. So I would say that these at the right price are definite um, possibilities. The anti skid tape um, for the game mouse, that, that was solid as well. And that plush thing that they sent in substitute of a Dharma Shark mouse that I let my dog play with as a chew toy, um, that's also very good. So thank you to Temu for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in any of their products, I'm sure there's gonna be a link in the description, pinned comment, all that, um, etc. Yeah, I mean, this was a shocking video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and ooh, ooh, Temu, don't forget about Temu.